plain and simple. We need a system that works for our children, their parents, and the employees that care for them. We need a city government that functions for all New York City residents. Thank you. Yeah. Now get this, one of the richest cities on the face of the earth, in the richest country on the face of the earth, is not providing adequate child care for its kids. How can we expect the best for our kids when we pay the least to the people who care for them? How can we teach our kids how valuable they are when we devalue the people who are paid to protect them? And I ask everybody, when we talk about the Early Learn program, when we think about the decisions made by this administration, are we living up to the standard that we can be proud of? Are these decisions that the city administration is making decisions that make sense, that make sense for our families, that make sense for our communities, that make sense for our workers? And the answer, I think, keeps coming back to no, they're not. And we have to change that. And we've got to make the investments in our future and nowhere is that investment more noteworthy and more impactful than early childhood care and education. We're talking about multiplier effect of anywhere from two and a half to seventeen dollars for every one dollar of amount of money spent on early childhood care and education. I urge the next mayor, the next mayor, that you've got to make a commitment and a promise that the first thing on day one, you will eliminate early learn. What I've said is we need to tax the wealthiest New Yorkers so we can have universal pre-K, so we can have after-school programs, so we can have the things that make a difference. That would be the kind of investment in our children 